have some pleasure. A man is arguing with his son. Yeah. Says so man says to his son, "You stubborn mule, you." Yeah. The son says, "Ah,、uh-uh, you're not gonna brainwash me. I am strong-willed." The father says, "Me brainwash you, idiot! I'm trying to educate you. Right? Same fact. There's different ways of looking at it. Right? So, are there any ways of finding the truth? Or are we doomed to saying, 'I am an educator, you are a persuader, and he is a brainwasher.' Right? I'm strong-willed. You're stubborn. <laughs> He's pig-headed. Is this what we're doomed to do? That we'll always paint ourselves white? No. B of this is definitions is the way out. Definitions, because when we're talking about the objective reality, we all agree. A brave man is a man who takes a necessary risk for a worthwhile purpose. If you take danger in order to save a human being or to save humanity, you're brave, right? Foolhardy man is a man who takes an unnecessary risk, but it's for a worthwhile purpose. A reckless idiot is a man who takes an unnecessary risk for no purpose. A man who charges a machine gun in order to get the enemy, in order to free his platoon, brave. If he takes an unnecessary risk when he's charging, instead of using every bit of cover, he's foolhardy. If he picks up his head. To say, "Hey, where they're shooting from?" He's a reckless idiot. Strong will. What's strong will? Strong will means you have evidence. Put it on the table. I don't feel like looking at it, but I've got strong will. I'll look at any evidence. But don't yell at me. Don't bully me. And don't try to seduce me. Emotional kicks will get you nowhere. I am strong willed. I'll stick to the evidence. Is that right? What's stubborn? Stubborn is, fellow says, listen, I'll tell you what you're saying, and the reasons that you believe the way you do, and I'll tell you why I disagree with you, and my reasons. But that's it, friend. I don't want to have this discussion anymore. Finished. Closed. But I know where you come from, and this is my reply, and that's it. No more. That's stubborn. What's pighead? I need reasons. <laughs> I said so. You're wrong. Let's dig in, right? So if your father says you stubborn mule, I told you a thousand times that you've got to close the door. Now, what's your reason for not closing the door?、Hmm? You understand? Did he tell me a thousand times? Right? Well, you know, he's being very charitable. He should call you pigheaded. <laughs> you understand? You have a way of checking things out. So definitions help us. It's true that we can twist anything. Yeah, but the more clarity you got, the harder it is to twist. Whenever you hear a piece of wisdom, always remember to find your terms. If I tell you happiness is an obligation, or if somebody says the battle for life is a battle for sanity, what do you mean battle? What do you mean life? What do you mean sanity? Get clarity. In every term, what does it mean that there's an obligation to be happy? What is happiness? Everything that you hear, you can't really make decisions unless you ask yourself, what are you talking about? If you say you can't talk to a stranger, what does that mean? You can't. It means that you don't feel like it. That isn't what you're saying. And B of this is don't react to wisdom till you have your definitions. And ask the question, what? Don't tell me that I've learned so much about living. I went to this S course. Tell me, friend, what did you learn? Define it. Just ask that one word, what? What did he say? What does it mean? Powerful. Learn to ask this question on the whole and its parts. In other words, if you find that there's a commandment to know that there is a God, yeah. How do you know? You know what is knowledge? Where does knowledge come from? What is knowledge? Before you argue about God, what is know? What is belief? What is faith? Do you have knowledge? Very disturbing because I mean I know. Well, I have ten fingers. That's knowledge. What? 
The earth is round. Is that knowledge? Is that knowledge? Or is that something I accept? What does it mean, know that there is a God? What does God mean? What do you mean by God before you argue about it? So take it on the parts and on the whole. That's the way you use this tool. What? Focus on everything.